What's up guys and welcome to Loco Roco Remastered for the PlayStation 4 which releases today or tomorrow whenever I get this video up. Man, was this game the game to have if you had a PSP back in the day. Like one of the reasons I wanted a PSP was for cute games like this. Oh, I love it so much. I probably won't be doing a full series on it because I know it's a couple hours long. We'll have to see. We'll do one video on it today, chill out, play like a half an hour of it. If you guys really, really like it, maybe we'll do more, but I'm probably just gonna do one video on it, just to be honest. Like, don't get your hopes up super duper much, but you can always ask me in the comment section. But this game is a blast, so I'll try to play as much of it as I can today. Let's get started. Oh, what's happening? In the depths of space. It looks like the cutscenes aren't remastered. They probably were like, full motion videos, so I'm not really too surprised, but they still look pretty good, you know, considering this used to be on the PSP screen, which is pretty darn small screen. It is the planet, sleeping. And on this planet, we have cute little lemon guys. <laughs> These guys are so adorable. And they're also happy all the time. Like, that's really, I, sometimes I just wanna play a game where everybody is happy all the time. Oh no. Speaking of, uh, he's like, oh man, something landed on my head. Well, back to bad. Uh-oh. We have weird dread guys. <laughs> no, don't beat up the happy lemon people. Uh-oh. No, they ate them. The monsters. I said I wanted a happy game. Oh no. Oh no, there's a giant lemon guy. Oh. Oh, I can, oh, I can tour, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, now I remember, I forgot how to play this game. Literally, I guess you play as the planet. I never really pieced that together, huh? You're never playing as the little lemon people. You play as the Earth as you tilt it back and forth. You'll see what I mean once we get into the game. But in that cutscene, I completely remembered how to play the game and had an existential crisis about how the game works. Huh, what a cutscene. <laughs> and the music is so good. I am my Loco Roco's friend. Collect a little bubble bobs to make Loco Roco grow. Find them all and lead them to the goal. Start. So I can actually twist the world. See, like, I don't actually control the little guy, I guess, but I can, like, move him back and forth. I can, I guess, just sort of uh, make him hop by pressing both at once, which is pretty cool. And it was so much fun to play on the PSP. Now, back in the PSP, that one wasn't the one with motion controls. That was the, one, that was the Vita. But it looks like we can pick a bunch of the stuff here. And, oh my god, that. And he grows bigger and bigger with each one. Oh, I love that. It's sort of like Katamari in that way, I guess. But I actually never got to play the full game when I was a kid. I only had the demo. I remember like wanting the full game so bad though. I think I got a touch to ones and um, hold on. Yep, wait, did... Buns for longer? Oh, look at that, I jump higher if I hold them down for super long. Ready, set, what? Yeah, I got it. So I gotta remember, sometimes I actually have to touch things until they um, actually have any kind of effect. But I always want to play this game super bad, especially when I like I played the demo of it back at like Best Buy. No, I think it was like a Radio Shack or something. Some kind of store that like doesn't exist anymore. Uh, hold circle, oh, oh, a quick press. Oh, look at that! Yay, we're all little guys now. But this, this is looking beautiful. I mean, the 4K, you know, 1080p sort of thing here looks really good. So I can hold it longer. Ah, uh, there we go but it looks really good for this game, just like it did Parappa, which I did a little video on that as well. Let's go ahead and boom, get that. Oh no, no, whoa, whoa okay, hold on. Oh no, I fell. That's not really what I wanted to do. Here, let's try to get over here if I can. Here, whoop, and then go like this, whoop. Yeah, no. <laughs> Come on, I need to get up there. I mean, maybe if I broke up, broke up into like a bunch of pieces, no, I don't need to do that. I can just go up like this. All right, come on. I gotta keep bouncing, keep, no, there's one more to get. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't sweat 100% completion, but it would feel so nice to. And we're so overweight, we need to go on a diet, but now is not our you know, concern. Our concern is to save the world from evi evil, like dreaded hair people. Find my friends, Mimwis, and something nice will happen. Okay, so we just found one. Sounds cool, oh, we got a loco house part. That's good to know. But it's so cool to be able to play the full game. And if you guys didn't know, they've been remastering a few of these kind of games. And some people are like against remastered, but I think this is a really good reason to remaster this game because you know it was only available on the PSP. They made a sequel for the PS3, but it's like if you don't have a PSP, it's hard to play this, you know? So it's really awesome that they, you know, they're making it. Oh no, I gotta get some over there. There we go. Oh, we got like sort of like the multitask here. This is tough. Come on. Ooh, they're doing a great job though. Good job, lemon loco roco people. I mean, I guess they're not lemons, they're loco rocos, but I don't know, they look like little lemons. Oh boy, so we gotta hold you all together. <laughs> and the fact that they're always like singing along. Oh no, I forgot one. There's still more up there. Uh-oh. 
That's bad. Is there any way I can like zoom out? I guess not. But I guess the illusion is supposed to be that they are singing the song, which is why they move their mouth like to the music like that, which I love. Ooh, get all these, get all these. Yeah, it's and I love it because it's like it's sort of a platforming game, it's sort of a puzzle game, it's sort of a little bit of everything. <laughs> Wee! Ah oh, man, this is the kind of game I've been wanting to play because I've had a massive headache all day. It's like I don't want to like have some high action game where I gotta be pro MLG Zebra gamer. You know, I want to be able to just relax and talk about stupid stuff while we watch happy little Loco Rocos bounce around and we completed the level. Yay! Now I remember that level for the most part back in the day. Man, it looks so beautiful. Stage clear, and I hope we got everything. Ooh, we got. Come on, come on. 18 out of, what, where were those other two? Hold up, we didn't get everything? What? I thought I was all over that level. <laughs> They're happy about it though. Okay, well, well, what are you doing, Pui Pui? I don't know. But they've announced a few games that are going to be HD remastering. Of course, Parappa the Rapper was one of them. Loco Roco was another one. And then Patapon was the third one they announced they were going to do. So there's World 1, or part of World 1. Okay, yeah, we're still in World 1. You did it! On to the next stage! We'll try to get World 1 done if we can. Yoo hoo! Uh, yeah, let's start. But. Oh, wow. So what's happening now? Okay, I guess that's sort of like the main menu. Huh, weird. We haven't really seen that too much yet. Maybe we will soon. What hooray! Ooh, I like the music here. Start! Let's go. I love how we always start as just one little guy. Oh, let's go ahead. And I really hope that the music is gibberish. Like, I mean, it might be like Japanese, because I think, that, you know, the game is made by, uh, I think, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment Japan. Ooh, we were in the trophy. Oh, I wonder if there's a platinum here. Ooh, that's good. So they have, like, a hidden wall situation going on here. Maybe that's where I started missing stuff. So I'm gonna have to be like even more paranoid about finding every secret than ever. There we go. I wanna get this soundtrack though, this is nice. Can I get up there? I don't know. I like this. Yeah, da, 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 do. <laughs> I like it. You know, games like this where I can just enjoy myself and rugs, they're my favorite kind of games. Like this, you know, Parappa's another good one, even though that one does, you know, need a bit more focus. What is another good game that's like that? Proteus, I think it is called, is a really good one like that, where you can just sort of chill out and play and you don't have to worry about no objective or anything, you just enjoy the game and relax. And it's just like, those games are like underappreciated in my opinion. Can I get up there? I have to be able to. I think I hear somebody like going, help me, help me. Ooh, big jump. No, oh, that wasn't enough. How do I get up there? Yeah, da, 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 da. Maybe I just gotta sing along to the music. Oh, I can't do it. Like maybe if I was more of the smaller guys? Wow. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to leave him be. Oh, I messed it up. Darn it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna move on. But uh, another game that would be, you know, like, that sort of reminds me of it too is Katamari. And I really like Katamari. I haven't played too much Katamari in my time, but I really wanna change that one day. Hopefully they HD remaster Katamari, or at least just make a new one. That would be so cool. Yeah, let me know in the comment section since I've been asked already. Have you played Loco Roco before? Have you even heard of this game? I know a lot of you are like, I guess significantly younger than I am. So most of you really weren't even around for PSP too much. Like I'm sure most of you started getting into gaming when PS Vita was starting to roll around or at least, you know, PSP was sort of on its way out here in the States at the least. Like I know it's the PSP is still popular in Japan. Like I think there were, you know, times where the PSP in the last like year or two was outselling the PS Vita. Which, I mean, I don't know if that gives, you know, a good nod to the PSP or an awful nod to the Vita. Wee-wees can be found all over the place. Cool. I don't wanna go that way. I wanna go this way. I mean, and also let me know if you guys would like to see more PSP gameplays. I mean, back in the day, you know, like, not back in the day, a year ago even, <laughs> I did actually play through a Little Big Planet PSP. So if you're a fan of Little Big Planet games, that was a big one I played through. And I have the PS Vita TV, so I can't play through more PSP games. I can't play through every Vita game, unfortunately, simply because of how, uh, I'll just call these guys back together. Simply because of uh, how the PS Vita TV works. Like, I really want to play through Little Big Planet Vita, but I can't because literally the thing titled Vita TV does not play every Vita game. In fact, it doesn't support most Vita games. It's just like, come on, Sony. You could have done a little better job with that one, maybe. I don't know. Cause I just want to play a little big planet Vita. Like that game is so much fun. And I haven't had the chance to properly play it on the channel. So I need 10 to get by here. Luckily, 
I am well stocked. Now let us through! Do not be a boundary. Um, just stay still for a while. <laughs> just sit, kid. You're moving around too much. All right, I'm sitting still. There we go. Did that work? Hello, hello! Uh, okay. Oh, they're getting into like a little pyramid. There we go. <laughs> I love it. They're like a little choir. Aw, he liked it. Hooray! <laughs> this is why I love this game. I'm guessing if we were smaller though, we could hop up to higher places, right? So maybe that's really my issue with that. It's hard to control two of them at once, so I can tell you that much. Go, ooh, go. <laughs> it's so cute to see that though. Here, let's combine them into one big old blob. Oh man, can I get up there? No, there's no way I can jump that high. Oh man, <laughs> we're moving too fast right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> No, we didn't make it! Oh no, we're gonna jump high enough. What is going on here? Oh, these are bouncy. Oh my. Let me try to get back over there because I missed one. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I missed one. But I guess my eyes deceived me. Oh boy, come on, come on. And we got it, nice. Is that the end of the level? That might be. Oh, it's looking like it. Uh, I am, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the level. Just stay here for a while. He really just wants us to settle down, don't he? Okay, well, I feel like we could have done better that level, but I had fun. Stage cleared. I mean, I'm loving how good everything looks. So like, the sound sounds great. Of course, 19, we almost, we got it, we did better so far. Didn't do so great with that one. We got two of those instead of one. So overall, I'd say pretty good. Scored 14,783 for whatever that's worth. And we got these two little guys. <laughs> so happy, like, yeah, yeah, we did so good. So I'm guessing, like, I don't know what the Plea Please really do. But Patapon, like I said, Patapon is another game I've been really excited for. And these guys remind me of Patapon for one reason or another. But uh, I'm so excited for that one because I played a little bit of Patapon back in the day. And that one is so much gosh darn fun. Let's go into level three if we can. It's a big old tree. We did it onto the next stage. Wow, that what an enormous tree. Let's get started. <laughs> that guy is sort of creepy on the right. I gotta say, he's sort of creeping me out. But Patapon is like a little rhythm game, and it's sort of similar to Parappa. Oh, it's so much fun. I love it so much, and I, I hope that we start seeing more revitalized PSP classics. I mean, so far it's been sort of like a really gosh darn good year. And, for revitalizing my memories. Like, we got Parappa the Rapper remastered, and now we got Loco Roco and Poundapon on the way. Crash Bandicoot remastered releases in the end of next month, the end of June, guys. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, we have um, Jack and Daxter's heading to the PlayStation 4. Not remastered. A lot of people are saying it's HD remastered. That's not the case, but it is being brought back as a PS2 classic to PlayStation 4, similar to how Parappa the Rapper 2 did, and a number of other PS2 titles are being, you know, downloadable and purchasable on uh, the PS4. Uh, Jack and Daxter 1 through 3 and Jack X are gonna join that family soon, and that to me is super exciting, because I've been meaning to have an excuse to play through Jack and Daxter for a couple years now, since I last Let's Played it in like 2011? It's been, a, it's been a hot minute. I wanted to get up there, game. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, I don't know if I can. Come on, just keep hopping, keep hopping, keep hopping. It's not working. <laughs> well, goodbye, little purple guys. I will miss you. Oh, I guess I go this way then. All right, usually you don't go left, but I'm going left this time. There we go. And what is going on over here? Oh, I need 10 to get across, I only have nine. So I'll be back for you guys, sleepy little dandelion things. But now though, I must go this way. Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, the evil things, come on, come over here, come over here. Oh no, I lost one. I didn't know that could happen. I mean, I've seen those, you know, little black spiky things, but it never registered to me how evil they were. Oh no. What is going on over here? Okay, so we do have a little secret area in this way. No, 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 get out of here, you punk. Okay, so we can beat them up. No, my friend, my friend, get back here. Oh no, I'm trying to save you. Okay, yeah, okay, we saved him. I don't know if we could, if it actually did anything. Dude, dude, I'm about to beat you up. Hey, yeah, you go get out of here, I'm gonna give you a headache. Ooh, get those. I saved you, though. That was almost a little too difficult for it, but we get a little thingamajig, loco house part. Cool, I don't know what this loco house part stuff does. 
But uh, you know what? I'm just enjoying the game. Oh no! Oh, I want to land on this dude. Land on your head! Mm. Hey, can I get up there? I don't, it doesn't look like there's anything up there though. <laughs> okay, now I'm giving myself a headache. So can I get up there though? I'm guessing what I gotta do is if I... Yeah, there we go. I figured it out. I pieced it together. There's not a lot of like tells, I guess you could say, that like really tell you like what you're supposed to do in certain situations. You really gotta like experiment and explore, which is not a bad thing. I like it. And the music is still so gosh darn good. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa why do those guys pop up for no reason? They're like, hey. Oh gosh, that was really weird. Like the Loco Roco world is quite odd, I'll tell you that much. I wonder if they'll ever remaster Loco Roco 2, because that also came out in the PSP. And, and same thing with like Patapon 1 through 3. And they don't need to remaster Parappa 2, because that's actually already available on the PS4 through the PS2, because that's the console that it released on. But um, let's try to plop down like that. A little bit more. And it's like, even if the games aren't remastered, I'm still glad I have new ways to play them, because I mean, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I don't have a PlayStation 2 anymore. I just like, mine broke a long time ago, and it's like, people charge a bunch of money on eBay for them. It's like, I'd rather just them release on the PS4. I mean, a lot of people are like, super gripey about that nowadays. They just don't like seeing remastered or re-releases. But it's like, I love seeing that kind of stuff. Also, what is happening? What, what are we hopping on? Oh my gosh. Oh, are we going the right way? Because I thought we went through a little secret. I guess not, oh, look at this. I don't think I can hop through this unless I'm smaller. Let's go ahead and just try to get one of these guys through and look at that. Come on, you keep going there. Good job, dude. I appreciate it. Oh no, is he gonna be too big to fit? No, he's fine, he's fine. Ooh, hey, look at that. Give us a bunch of extras for figuring out that little puzzle. I love that. <laughs> nice little prize. I mean, usually finding out the puzzle itself is the prize, but here you get that and more. Oh my, I need to sort of work on that a little bit. Okay, hold on. Oh, the angling's tough here. Like I need to be on it, and then I need to do that. There we go, I need to be facing the correct way to start. It would be cool, you know, if the PSP was still more to use, to see these games get remastered for the PS, or the PS Vita, sorry, did I say PSP? They're so similar, I forgot. I mean, I, I wonder if we'll even see another PlayStation handheld anytime soon. I'm going to assume no. So that was a secret area. Wrap this all the way around, there's just a lot to it which I do not mind. Let's try to get over here. Oh boy, we're doing all right so far. Another big PSP game, I think the other PSP game I would like to see remastered one day would probably be Daxter. I mean, it would be a weird one to remaster, but it would be cool to see. Beyond that, I don't know if there's really any other must-have PSP games in my opinion. I mean, maybe stuff like Half Minute Hero, but even that kind of stuff already has a Steam port. So like any kind of like, I don't know any other PSP exclusives that need must have ports at this point. You guys can let me know. My, you know, leaving something out besides, you know, like Parappa the Rapper, which was available on PS1, but um, Parappa the Rapper, Loco Roco, Patapon, and Daxter, those were the must haves for me. But what was your must have PSP game? If you had one, you know? Maybe you didn't. Oh, hello, sir. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing this, but it's what I'm doing. No, wait, no, wait, no, wait, I'm not done. Yeah, I got that. Is there anything down here? I guess not. Oh, no wait, there's this. Whatever this is. Yeah, okay, one little extra blob. One blob away from completely succeeding. Or maybe failing. Yup, yeah. I mean, I wanna see the same thing for other consoles as well. You know, like, this has been something, something I've been thinking about for like the Nintendo Switch. I know it's a little off topic, but at the same time, you know, it's my video, I get to talk about whatever I want. But the idea that, you know, all these great games are just sort of re-releasing, I like it. Because you know what? Them releasing these, you know, re-releasing these great games that like I don't really have the way to play anymore, right? Like I don't have any way to go on my PSP because I don't have one anymore. I don't have a PS2 anymore, you know, and it's like I can't buy those from an actual retailer, you know, so I have to buy them from either a secondhand shop or from eBay, and that usually becomes an overpriced situation where I'm paying way more for, you know, Loco Roco than I ever should. You know, I just had to pay $15 on PS4, and I love that so much, and that's totally worth it for me. So I love seeing these kind of games remastered. And it's like another one of those things, like, if Nintendo added every single great Nintendo game to the Switch, oh my gosh, I would spend so much money. You're like, imagine if they had on the Virtual Console GameCube games, if they ported over every major Wii U game like they did in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I would be spending way too much money on the Switch, you know? Just like, oh my gosh. It's just like, to me, it feels like they're sitting on free money. But maybe I'm totally wrong and I'm full of it and I don't know anything about the gaming industry. I guess that wouldn't put me too far apart from every other person. 
who makes, you know, comments on the gaming industry, would it? Uh, bro, it looks so cold here. Well, let's go. <laughs> I love how, like, every area has sort of something different about it. Usually they, you know, hold that per world. You know, it's like every world has a different theme, but this game seems like every level just feels unique, which is pretty cool. Oh, I like it. Do up. Do up. Oh, this one's super slidey. Oh, boy. And these games are always so fun for even a casual playthrough like this, you know? It's like I don't need to get everything to really get the fun out of the game. I totally messed that one up. Whoop! Yeah, okay, I got that. This is fun. I like levels like this. Reminds me of like Draw Rider. Oh, that was a good game. Oh boy. Whoop! Oh no. Come on. Build it up. And then go back down. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be done. Whoop! Yeah, it's like a half pipe. We're skating around this place. <laughs> awesome. Get up like that. Get up like this. Ooh, yep. Yeah. And then get up here. No, I know I can. I just got up there a second ago. So let's try that one more time. Go like this. Go like that. No, I messed it up. Jeez, I stink. Well, I know I can do it though. I believe in myself. And maybe the world will believe in me or not. There we go. That was a good way to do it. Come on, go this way. Go this way. Uh oh, there's scary stuff here. Oh, I messed it up, all the way back down here. Oh well, and I can just go, oh well, and keep moving on, and then turn into a whole bunch of little locos. Loco rocos, like, are they loco rocos, or are they just locos? I mean, they are sort of a little loco. You know, they're a little crazy, but that's what's fun about it. Oh boy, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and combine everybody up, just like that, and we are good. Oh boy, <laughs> the spinning cycle of doom. Oh no, we're in a wintry area, and there's a spinning wheel of some sort. Bad little big planet memories. <laughs> no, how did I not fit down there? Oh, come on. What, what, these guys just, I guess if you just stay still for too long without like, actually pressing any buttons, they sort of, sort of decide to come out and start singing for you. I don't mind it. You know, it's pretty nice of them to do. Give me a little bit of a choir. Oh, come on, get that. I got one more to get. Whoa, you can really whip around this thing super quick, but I gotta go this way now. Just like that, just like that, and grab it. Don't fall on that. Thank you. I can hear somebody going, help me, help me. Oh, there's nothing up there? Like, I'm pretty sure that's like a little help me noise. I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe it's the noise of them being scared because they're near like a dangerous thing. I'm not really sure then. Well, let's keep going. I got this way to go. Ooh. There we go. I love how the music, every time, like, it's all acapella for the, okay, the main meat of the music is acapella. There definitely is some background instruments, but I really like it. There's this like, really cool vocals in this game, especially since it all, you know, it's all high pitched and stuff. It's different, and that's really cool. And like games, it sort of do that today as well. I mean, Splatoon is a good example, right? Like Splatoon always has like sort of like the bubbly voice to it, because it's like sort of supposed to be like squids from underwater. And they, like all their songs are, most of them, usually have that kind of like effect to it. And just like that kind of musical theming is really cool and can really get the extra stuff to make a game like this feel really fun. Yeah. All right, dude, you wanna, you wanna mess with me? Yeah, you, you better run. You better run, go listen to some reggae music or something cool like that. Or not, I mean, you could just go and eat something else that isn't me, you know? You can just go eat a plant, dude. Isn't that good for you? Get some, you know, fibers, some vitamins. Always good for you. There we go. Ooh, the secrets. I'm finding them all right. And this kind of game, like, it feels like it'd be a ton of fun to speed run. I mean, maybe at some point I'll give it a shot, but probably not. Here, okay, so now we gotta traverse this. No, I don't like it, I don't like it. Here, go. Oh no, go, oh no, go. Yeah, yeah. It's still so weird that I'm I just now, after all the years knowing about this game, just grasp the concept that you aren't playing as the little guys, you're playing as the Earth itself. I mean, it makes sense, obviously. You're never in direct control of these little guys. You just control the environment to the point where they can uh, do things about it. Because obviously that opening cutscene isn't a part of the demo. Like I said, I only played the demo of this game, which really is a lot of the games I played as a kid were mostly demos. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is cool. It's like we get all the things because we have all the guys so far. I guess, or we wouldn't, like, I'm gonna assume we have everybody, because if not, we wouldn't have been able to do all that. Just gotta double check that. All right, so far, so good. Hello. Oh, we need five, but we got plenty. Don't worry. <laughs> These guys look a little menacing now. 
like little tricksters. What are they gonna do? I really hope it's gibberish language, because that just makes it so much more cute. Yay! Oh, they just gave us a little thing. So they they weren't even like an obstacle we had to get by. Still though, that's pretty cool. So we actually might get all three of them. That's two of them so far. Can we get a third one? That would be nice. But uh, another thing about this game is that it just sort of spreads a cool message, you know? It's just sort of like the power of music sort of changes things, you know? It makes people happy, and that's, and that's just really cool, you know? Music is cool. You know, sometimes when you're sad or when you need some help, you just gotta sing, and little noodles will come out of the ground and help you out, give you a hand. That's an important life lesson you need to learn in life, you know? How would you know about the magical music noodles if you didn't play this game? I mean, they are real. Every, this is not a fictional game, this all actually happened. This is a part of a history book, pick up a textbook, kids. You learn all about the Loco Rocos and how they saved our universe. And they did it one stage at a time. Did we get all 20 of them? I don't think so. Not even close, man. Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't feel like we've been doing, oh no, there's five of them on this level. I'm all happy, cause like, oh, we might get all three of them. Nope, there's five of them in this level. Jeez. Okay, so we'll do one more level. This one we'll do, no, I just chose the same level twice. Oh no, no, I didn't. Um, you did it onto the next stage. Okay, that's squishy and sticky. Let's start. Okay, so I thought I cho chose the same stage twice there. I did not, which is great. Uh, we'll do one more level. I'll try to do this one super speed run style. Like, we'll just go through it as fast as I possibly can. And sort of see the fun in it. All right, let's start. And of course, I want to still be able to focus on getting things. Because as we've seen in the past, if you don't have enough stuff, I guess you can't, you know, pass certain areas. So you either have to go back or to restart the level. So let's get whatever we can, but let's just do it in a hasty fashion. There we go. And we're starting to build up already. And this place really is looking a little gross and sticky. I don't know how much I like it. Oh boy, and then after this, we'll check out the main menu because I definitely want to see like what kind of cool little extras. I know there's like a little mini game section. But I don't know too much about it, like what we can find there. Whoop! Oh. So far, the speed run is not super duper quick. Come on. Boom! Gotcha. Then one more. Oh no. Oh, look at this. This is the super sticky stuff. Oh no, no, no. I missed a bunch of stuff. I must keep going. I must keep going. I must keep going. Jump! Oh no. That was not a good jump. Oh, I can get that. Whoa, hey dude. Hey dude, watch yourself. Yeah, you better run away. But there's just so many games in my childhood I would love to see like remastered or redone. And this is just another one of them. Like I would love to see Jack and Maxter in a full like 1080p HD remake. I mean, I know they did that, whoa, for uh, the PS3. I wish they would have waited an extra generation, just did it for the PS4, but hey, you know, we got some cool remastering going on there. The game looked great on the PS3. I'm trying to get these guys all together and, and it, like the opposite is happening right now. Come on, come on. I'm just gonna try to get everybody somewhere. And, uh, you ran off this way. No, my little buddy, you little stinker. Now you're over there. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna get everybody over if I can. And hopefully they don't get eaten. Here, everybody just start screaming, start screaming. Oh boy, <laughs> panic, everybody panic. There we go, ooh, look at this. Whole bunch of fruitful fruit. There we go, let's let's catch up here. I'm really not speed running this at this point. I'm doing basically the opposite. Oh, yeah, okay, I got that one. And let's sit up here and boop. Oh no. No. This is not speed run fun at all. This is super slow. That's okay. I'm still having fun in general. Okay, that's some pretty quick stuff. Whoa, oh, we gotta break up into a whole bunch of little pieces. Probably should get them all across all of the, okay, never mind. Doesn't even matter. Ooh, plop. All right, everybody scream. There you go. What's down here? Now I'm just curious though. Whoa, look at you. Hey there, sir. Come on in. Oh, we're gonna wake him up. He's taking a little nap in there. He's all sleeping. Does he really need saving if he's taking a snooze? <laughs> he's stretching. Oh, good morning. Hello, hello. He's like, hey, shut up, I'm trying to sleep in here. And he turns into a collectible. We made him so mad, he just burst into a different kind of object. The poor guy just wanted a nap nap. Well, I'm gonna keep going. His life has been used up. We have collected him. Oh, no, were those good guys? Oh, they were making us giggle. I guess they're tickly. I don't know if that's a good thing, because we 
lose control of ourselves, but hey, that was a quick level. Holy cow, wait, 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 I'm not done. I'm not done, there's one over there. I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> so there we go, there's another level completed. I like it. So we're gonna finish off with that when it comes to playing through these levels. They're a blast, but there's a lot of them, and they go on for a while. I think there's like four or five worlds. So this game's actually pretty bulky. I thought it was sort of like a smaller game, like an hour or two, but I think that's the sequel, Lokoroko Koreko or something like that, on the uh, PS3. It's like only like two hours long. It's like super short, but they're all fun. They're all super duper fun. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go back now and check out the uh, main menu and increase local local numbers to regain the world peace. Okay, so we got the local house, build a local local home with parts you found, go to the title screen, play a mini game, and there's options. So let's go ahead and check out the local house. Like, what is this? Like this part, like I'm totally unclear with what this stuff is. So welcome to the local house. You can create a local house with the parts you found. How to play, choose a part from the parts list and position it, press the options button to invite the local roco. Create your own unique local house, oh cool. So parts list, I got a few things, not too much, like a little pond, I could just put that somewhere, like right here? Oh no, I can't put it here? Oh, okay, I guess it's a platform. All right, <laughs> and I guess we get to play around in this house, which is super cute. I don't know what these little guys are supposed to be for, but cool, and then we can just bring the local Roko in, he's like, wee, oh, I like that, but I'm sure it would be cooler if I had more stuff, so let's go back to the main menu. And let's exit, just like that. And we will go ahead and try one of the mini games or save, yeah, one of the two. So what is the mini game here? We gotta, do we have, oh, we have more than one that I guess we can unlock. Try and grab some local Roco one game. Oh, you have to buy them? Oh, we'll, we'll try one, we'll just try one. And then we'll finish up for the day, but this game is so gosh darn cute. I just don't wanna stop playing it. I just wanna keep going. Start. Oh, so it's like, it really is like a crane game. Okay, no, I pressed the close. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no, I was supposed to catch a loco roco. I haven't done that. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. You got a little ball. Yay, you know, at least you got something. It's better than just completely missing. These guys are like moving around like crazy though. All right, I got a house part, okay. It ain't too bad, I mean, at least you're getting something. Oh, and that's it? <laughs> okay, okay. We'll finish it off there. That was Loco Roco, PS4 Remastered, of course, on the PlayStation 4. So much stinking fun. I had a blast there. Hopefully, you did too. And of course, if you want some more, you can let me know. But I think we'll probably finish it off there for now. We got other adventures to do here on the channel. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode on Loco Roco Remastered. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment Loco Zebra so that you've watching the video and you are a zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.